Okay. So, what we're going to be doing right now is pretty much just Dragon Age multiplayer. Um, a few of my friends wanted to know how this plays out, and the game's actually pretty fun. It's just, you have to kind of get used to it, because once when you first start off, it's really difficult. And a lot of people try to solo when they first start off, because they see other people soloing, and they get fucked up. Anyway, um, okay, so the way we're going to do this is pretty much, I'm just going to be showcasing characters on different difficulties on different maps. Um, each one's going to be a separate broadcast, separate video. Um, these characters are all randomly leveled, as you can tell. I promoted them random amounts. This, you know, I, I mean, I played for a while when the game came out, and then I just kind of stopped. But, eh, a few of my friends wanted to get back into it. So, pretty much, we're going to be starting off with Legionnaire, because... Midget power. Okay. Um... Also, I'm going to kind of be showing my setup, except not like full setups like abilities and stuff, because on most characters, that doesn't matter as far as I'm concerned, because stat based, um, I'm not going to be playing on, I think, Nightmare or Higher, and the reason for that is Nightmare and Heartbreaker. Even if you can do them, they take time, so. And I mean, I can do um, Nightmare, but normally I need a party, or I need to be playing as Arcane Warrior, so, you know, that. And right now I'm just kind of salvaging stuff because, you know, salvage. I've almost got every armor set. I just kind of stopped paying attention to it. Anyway. But now, nah, like, as you can see, I mean, Inquisition rank 702 is not very high anymore, but when the game first came out, that was <laughs> insane. Uh, I think I was on the top 100 leaderboards for, I don't know, a few days. <laughs> then I just kind of stopped playing, and after people started getting into the thousands, it was just kind of iffy. Then the double XP glitch made that excel even more. But anyway, um, here's all this. Uh, this is what I'm using. It isn't anything special. It's not defense only or attack only. Just kind of a random setup. Anyway, we'll be doing private. Uh, we'll start off on routine just because. And we'll do the maps in order. Um, I will be showing different dragons and stuff, so those will count as separate maps. Uh, we'll do each difficulty, each map, and uh, yeah. That's how that'll work. So this will just be for Legionnaire on routine on each map. Um, that's what this little broadcast is going to be at least. And then we'll move on to the next character on the list. Oh, also, I think I should mention... Um, in this game, when you start off, uh, you don't have really any good armor, weapons, or level even. So your stats uh, make it almost impossible to solo, even routine as a low level. Ironically though, if you've got a full party, you can normally handle threatening, which is pretty easy. Um, the only reason I'm showing routine also, along with the other difficulties, is just off the basis that it is what most players start off on unless you know they just skip over to threatening because they found a group which a lot of people do that too it's fair and everything but um yeah the reason that I'm gonna have high defense though is because of an armor I'm wearing um once you've gotten a million XP with any character group like rogues warriors or mages everyone in that character group gets a special armor well that special armor gives you like pretty much double defense from if you were just starting and then also every time you promote a warrior you get a little bit of a defense buff and then every time you promote a mage you get a defense buff towards magic damage it's pretty much just like just keep promoting keep leveling never stay as a level 20 unless you plan on doing like perilous if you're a noob or nightmare if you're actually like used to playing a little bit
And also, um, just adds up, the Legionnaire is one of the lower damage characters, but he's got good defense. Also, I don't know which weapon I've got equipped. I probably should have looked at that. Anyway, uh, but yeah. I mean, if you couldn't tell, they don't really do damage. I do take magic damage from some enemies because my willpower is pretty low, but... I mean, I don't think that's on routine, unless we end up against uh, Darkspawn, because the Darkspawn have an axe thrower that does a ridiculous number of damage, and I don't even think it's magic, even. I think it's just like he has a huge number of armor penetration. Also, I think I should mention Legionnaire <laughs> matches, whether you're soloing or not. Legionnaire matches are normally the longest time-consuming ones, and the reason for that's because of the low damage. Like, as a Reaver, I can insta-kill everything. <laughs> as an Archer, you can insta-kill everything normally uh, if you're getting crits. As an Assassin, insta-kill... Yeah, see, magic damage right there took a little bit of my health off. Anyway, but like... Every character can normally run fast, but the Legionnaire is meant for survivability, not speed runs or anything. I mean, if anything though, a Legionnaire can do good on higher difficulties, it's just normally they're meant for aggro and just distracting all the enemies while their teammates do the damage. Since we're doing solo though, that's not the case at all. But like, Legionnaire even has abilities that make it invincible for a few seconds, or just generate a huge amount of guards that it can't take damage. <clears throat> I should wait, do I have my volume turned down? Well, that explains a lot. I was wondering why there wasn't dialogue going on. Because the characters do talk, and some of the stuff they say is pretty funny. Yeah, okay. There. By the way, those healing fonts, in between each zone, there's Our little healing spots. have identified a target. A grave threat within enemy ranks that must be eliminated. Uh, yeah, and also you get two events every uh, match, and they just give you extra gold, and I think a little bit of extra XP if like you do them. Her. But um, this one, for example, is just killing an enemy type. Also, another thing, if you're doing uh, XP runs, the best solution to doing those is play on um, the dragon map. The reason for that is you get a lot more XP, and then also there's that's just because of high enemy amounts, though. But there's also the fact that the... Um, three beginner maps, which by the way, Dragon's map is a DLC you do have to download, but it's free. Um, these maps, though, have one event where it's a poison room, and it pretty much just slowly drains your health. It doesn't do it by a large amount, but it does take time, because normally if you're on a higher difficulty, you'll actually have to stay within a torch that'll keep you safe from the poison, which, you know, I mean, you could just speed run it but then you'd have to worry about all the enemies chasing you. And if you're on a higher difficulty, that is problematic. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering what I have that steals health, it's not stealing health. Um, my shield, pretty much if I take damage, I get that health back after a few seconds, so long as it's not over like 10% of my health. So you know, for routine or threatening, it's good. On higher difficulties I actually have to generate guard and stuff, but the shield keeps me alive for a while. Okay. Couldn't hide from us. I've never seen anything like this.
realized how little the damage I'm doing is. This is actually depressing. I'm really wondering what weapon I had. Wait, maybe I was doing a challenge before I got off. Because I remember there were some challenges for the Legionnaire weapons I didn't do. Oh god, I'm really hoping that's not what it was. Because if it is, that might mean that I equipped a weapon that does a lot less damage than what I should be using. <laughs> it actually would explain why everything's taking so long to kill on this difficulty. Uh, and I just thought about how bad that's going to be for when we run into the boss. Okay. The thing with uh, the guys that we're fighting right now, they're Venatori, so... The way they work is, mostly, generate guard, the mages put on barriers on people. And that isn't so bad, because they're really stupid. But their boss, on the other hand, generates magic barrier a lot, and only does magic damage, so, you know, if that's what's hurting you, upgrade your willpower a lot, and just equip a lot of magic defense stuff. But, um... The way she works though is she keeps generating magic barrier, so you can't really damage her health if you're doing too low of a damage and you're doing so low. I mean, I'm sure get around it somehow, but Look at this. it pretty much just means the fight's going to be longer. Also, those are, uh, the little doors over there, those are treasure rooms. Uh, if you have the right classes in your game, that means that you can open those and get a free chest. On uh, different difficulties, it's different amounts of money. Um, Nightmare and Heartbreaker have the highest amounts of money and item drop rate, which, by the way, they're the exact same. Some people like to think that Heartbreaker has better items. It doesn't. I've checked. The drop rates are the exact same. Fuck bunny. Uh, if you kill those little nugs, um, they're the bunnies. One spawns in every match. They drop a higher amount of gold than the chest do in treasure rooms by about three or four times. I'm probably going to change weapons after this match is over, because this is really depressing. I don't even think this weapon has an enchantment on it. I don't believe what I'm seeing. I really done goofed. If this thing does like less than 100 damage when I look in the inventory, I'm going to feel really bad about having this equipped. <laughs> Okay, if a crit hits 101, it's probably less than 100 DPS. Oh, uh, okay. Also, there's these little pots that are around the map, and the way those work is you break them, they drop gold. Yeah. Higher difficulties, better gold, we're on the easiest difficulty because we're just showcasing each difficulty separately. Yeah. You get the picture. I've heard rumors of a collection of old Tevinter scrolls. Actually, I might not do every character on every map, on every difficulty. I might just do them kind of like every character once, and then every map once, and then I'll just start doing difficulties on maps that I like, as characters that I like. Because... Yeah, I, I don't like the idea of doing this on every single level. I just realized kind of how bad that would be. Look at this. Not even bad, just time consuming. Allow me. Because that's nearly like I'm 10 to 20 minutes a match or higher if I take too long. I don't believe what I'm seeing. So yeah, one matches each character and then switch over to the best. I'll play as the bad characters, though, for the uh, routine matches on each map, because, you know, at least they can do something. This guy can't even do anything, it's just the defense is good. That's what the Legionnaire is good for. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really help, though, that I've got crap weapons equipped. Oh, wait, those. Yeah, forgot about them. Yeah. 
So this is the recover the uh, scrolls one. There's also recover weapons and recover artifacts. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, the higher the health bar on that thing, like the quicker you get it, the more gold you get. I think the most you can get out of it is like 70 on routine. So I mean, the amount that we get isn't decreased by much. So that isn't too bad. Also, I might broadcast some Dark Souls later, because I kind of did forget about that whole walkthrough I was doing or playthrough. Somebody reminded me of it, uh, and I was just kind of like, wait, I did one of the, oh yeah, that's right. It's easy to forget, because I've beaten Dark Souls 1 at least, like, nine times. <laughs> the game kind of just slips my mind. And uh, Tron Evolution was free on Xbox uh, this month, so pretty much what I was doing with that was I 100% completed that. And by the way, Tron Evolution, it, in all honesty, if you can play it, the first level is really difficult because the parkour in that sucks. It bugs out, you fall through the map, you fall through walls. But if you can actually get over that fact, beating the game and getting all the achievements should take maybe a day or two. Like, it, it actually, it's like four hours, I think, to do the story mode on all three difficulties to get every achievement story mode based. And then the multiplayer based achievements are just for winning like three five minute matches and then getting a certain number of kills on a bike. Because normally doing the uh, three story mode matches required for all achievements. Because you have to do uh, one match that... The easiest way to go about getting achievements on Tron is literally one match on the easiest difficulty just to get some level for when you play on the hardest. And uh, also collectible hunting. Then you've got to play on the hardest to unlock insane difficulty. Then you've got to play insane difficulty. So three playthroughs, but... You know, easy stuff. And then all that's left is kills, which, I mean, you can do in multiplayer, you can do in low levels. Yeah, I should probably do be, like, doing Dragon Age talk, but, eh. That's what I've been doing, like, all week was Tron, so. <laughs> I'll do Dark Souls talk when I'm playing Dark Souls. Because Dark Souls talk, I can talk Dark Souls for a few hours, actually. But, I mean, Dragon Age talk, there's not really much to talk about. It's just murder. Kill everything. Here they come. Get Don't good. Let them get through. Upgrade all your stats. Murder everything. Yeah, I've never seen yeah. anything like this. Uh, I love how the viewers are fluctuating on the broadcast so much. It just went back down to one. I don't believe uh, like literally, the thing that's so funny about broadcasting games like Dragon Age or Lego games, also because I've broadcasted a Lego game. I didn't put it on my YouTube channel because that would have been really sad. But um. Games like this, or LEGO games, the viewers fluctuate. Like, people will watch it for a few minutes, and you could have, like, up to maybe 200 viewers. Like, literally, I just had 150. And whenever I play a LEGO game, for some reason, I'll get, like, four or 500, which I don't even have five followers on Twitch, which is really funny, considering how many viewers I've had. But the thing is, they'll stay for a few minutes, and then everyone leaves as a big group. That's literally it. Like, some people might talk in the chat, and the people who talk in the chat will stay. But normally, you'll just kind of have, you know, like, a few hundred viewers, and then they just kind of, eh, we all need to go now. <laughs> we don't know why we're here. Normally though, people do just come to channels like this though, just to check out what game they're playing, so they can understand it a little bit better. Which I mean is completely understandable. I think literally the only times I go on Twitch to watch other people broadcast is whenever um, there's like a new game out and I just want to see if it's worth buying.
The ancestors yeah. smile on us. Uh, this is what I meant when I said this would probably take forever. It's literally just a stalemate. You know what? Had to do it. <laughs> this was taking too long. Can't even keep track of where the boss is in all the fire. Oh god, did I actually take damage during this? Uh, oh yeah, sometimes your fire potions hurt you. I forgot to mention that. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Wasn't the smartest thing I could have done. Okay, I'm gonna just kill these guys then. I can't tell if I've got the one that makes it so that when you crit they explode, or if it's whatever, just like 10% chance. the legionnaires. <laughs> okay. Under normal circumstances I don't even use potions so this is really disappointing. Like I don't normally use potions on Perilous. That's how bad I am with the legionnaire. And it is a good character. I just really can't play it. I shouldn't even have tried. But mistakes were made. <laughs> Now I just gotta not lose, cause, you know, I think that'd be the worst case scenario. <laughs> the only thing I can hurt here is my pride. <laughs>
<sighs> Need something to distract myself. Uh, I wish people were still in the chat. Oh god. <laughs> Where's all the really annoying people with the spam? I need that back. That's what I use to take my mind off of how long this battle is. I feel like I should just play as the Reaver next just so that, you know, this type of thing doesn't happen. By the way, the enemies are random, but... um. From what I can tell, there is like a mathematical equation, depending on what characters you are, and depending on what map you're on, different enemies spawn. The only reason I know that is because if you have a group of all four Templars, um, for some reason, your chances of fighting demons is almost guaranteed. I mean, like, you won't always fight demons, that's not a thing. But depending on what map you're on though, that also can change it. I've actually had matches where I've had like 10 demon fights in a row playing as a Templar. Which, you know, if you're a high level Templar and actually use the abilities that kill demons, is really good. Uh, that's normally what I do for uh, item runs. But, um, yeah, that's why I know that some maps give you uh, more of a chance for enemies and so do playing as different characters. But also, um... No, like, this character in particular, though, for some reason normally runs into this enemy type. Same thing with, um, there was, there used to be a double XP glitch, I think I mentioned it earlier. Um, it's the reason I wasn't on the leaderboard anymore and why most people were insanely high. A few people didn't use it, they played legit, and, I mean, you know, that's what they did. Um, I didn't get to use it often, I think I used it in, like, three matches, which was enough to promote, uh, Reaver, like, Ten times. Like it, I, I don't mean just like game matches, I mean like staying in the lobby, <laughs> if it wasn't obvious. But uh, yeah, nah, I had enough though to promote it like, you know, a few times. And the double XP was ridiculous, because on the dragon map, it gave you enough XP to promote per match as long as you had a support character on threatening. Which, I mean, considering that even perilous matches, and even, like, you need two nightmare matches to do that. So, that's kind of big. But, um, I think it's punishment for that. Whenever they added the Avar into the game, the Avar were a lot stronger than they are now, but they're still OP as fuck. Um, the Cerebuses have an insane amount of health and defense, which, I mean, it's survivable and all, but, yeah. Um, that's just kind of how it is, though. But, um, pretty much the Reaver and the Arcane Warrior are the two classes that have the highest chance of fighting the Avar. Or the, uh, Quinari, that's what they're called, not Avar. But, um, the thing with that is, though, the reason is because the Reaver's insanely weak to magic damage. And what do the Quinari mostly use? Magic damage. Same with the Darkspawn, actually. But the Reaver only has, like, I think it's a, uh... 35% chance of dark spawn. Like, the Reaver can face literally any enemy. I think most of the enemies that were spread out was like 5%, but the dark spawn and the Quinari are the highest for the Reaver in chance. Okay, anyway. Oh, jeez, I was using just a little bit higher than 100. Okay, that that's good to know. I don't want to relive that. Okay. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Next we're going on to Katari. Which, the Katari's fun, but I need to make sure I have my gear equipped. Uh, 359 damage, 350. Oh, yeah. And another thing, Edgewise is a sword that gives you a massive uh, defense buff. Yeah. Um, then there's also Skywatcher's Cleaver's, a uh, good favorite of most players. And the reasons for that is it inflicts Chain Lightning randomly, which, you know, I mean, it's one of, like, the top six, seven weapons. Yeah. I mean, I don't have every weapon. I don't have a hack on two-hander, and that's just because I never felt like getting one. I mean, I've had this hack on. I think that's my only one. Yeah. And I don't really play as an assassin that often. I do whenever I'm bored, though. So, yeah. 
Uh, this seal and kill, this seal and kill. Okay, I'm all of the dragon. Anyway, um, yeah. I'm just kind of just debating if I want to use the great sword or not. Because the thing with the great sword is it has a lot more um, percent of attack added, but this does have higher DPS. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go with this. Okay. Anyway. Accessories. What do I have as my belt? Uh, enhanced belt of magic defense. Well, I have a superb belt of magic defense, so I don't need that equipped. Um, life drain. Heal and kill. Okay, that's good. Actually, that's not good. That's really stupid. Okay. Oh god, um... I was going to say because I have another one that's higher leveled. Because this one gives 10%, this one gives 5%. <coughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, what, what amulet do I have? Constitution. Yeah, okay, that's good. Anyway. So let's see how this goes. Oh, wait, wait. Change the map. Yeah, Elysian Chateau. Second map. By the way, um, this broadcast is only going to be up for um, doing all the maps, like the beginner maps, the beginner three, um, on routine. Then the next broadcast I do will be um, the three dragon maps, each dragon map separately, of course. Um, and I'm going to be playing as characters that can easily get through that real quick, because dragon maps have the most enemies. Uh -huh. And yeah. I've received word of a threat to the Inquisition. I've sent some recruits to investigate. I actually kind of want to go play Naruto trouble, later. Know what to do. I don't know. I want to play a lot of games. In the countryside. The I mean, I want to play Dark Souls because I need to finish be that, but I want to play like really want to play Naruto too though because the thing with Naruto is I am a horrible person in the multiplayer <laughs> uh, I fought one of the highest ranked guys on the leaderboard I think it was like number seven or number eight and oh my god it was funny <laughs> he thought because I was a noob and didn't have any wins because I hadn't played the multiplayer before he thought he could go <laughs> easy Oh my god, I hit him so fast with so many explosive moves to cause lag and he couldn't do anything. I actually, the only reason I knew how to do that was because I do private matches sometimes and I found out you can actually just flat out lag the game like crazy. But <laughs> it was really funny because um, people don't fight me on the online because I generated so much BP in that match. I've only got like three wins, I think, online, and my BP's like a thousand. <laughs> so just because of how ridiculous that is, uh, people don't want to fight me. Because the way you generate BP is one, how good you did in a match, two, how good your opponent was. And because of how much I generated just off beating him and beating two other people, it's kind of just scares people away, especially considering the fact that my uh, profile card in that game just says innocent mass dude. It's just a really creepy guy going tee hee. <laughs> By the way, if you couldn't tell, this does go by a lot faster than when I played as the Legionnaire, but honestly, the Legionnaire should have been a faster run. It was just because of that weapon. Like, I was literally going at, I think, less than half the possible speed I could have gone. Are you serious? No, but like, I'm killing the enemy so fast that they don't respawn quick enough. Because only a set number of enemies can be in the map, and they have to kind of spawn in over a timer. But yeah. I've sent a team after an enemy target, proving quite troublesome for the Inquisition. Yeah. 
I think what I'm gonna do probably um, I'm gonna save the rogues for like I will be doing every character probably on where the fuck did you go what are you doing come back oh my god it ran away why why did it run Okay, it's dead now. And block. And you're dead. <laughs> I blocked his friend and then killed him. Look at that. Boom. Oh, bitch. Nope. Get over here. The funny thing is, like, this character generates guard just by using that X ability I have and ramming people, and I think also my weapon generates guard or something that I have on does. So pretty much, this character does good damage while just completely generating guard a lot. On low difficulties, it's pretty much immortality. A lot of people don't like playing it though because uh, if you're playing as two-handers, the Reaver is probably just naturally a better choice. And if you've got the stats for it, the Avar is an even better choice. It's just most people can't play as an Avar because um, it's defense. Like you have to promote your constitution and willpower to a huge number, um, like at least a hundred, I think, before you can do a few things. So I mean, it's kind of just how it is. But. The Avar is a class made for players who have played for a while. Same with, uh, if you get your willpower up, that also adds damage to certain abilities. Um, getting cunning up adds crit chance, and also your range defense. You can actually become literally immune to arrows, I think, on any difficulty, because the uh, range defense goes by percentage, not actual damage amount. and pretty much like you already take one damage from arrows at a low level but um i think you can have it up to like 80 percent off of nightmare which that's a lot that pretty much means archers can barely hurt you on nightmare but yeah in all honesty uh whenever somebody starts off playing this game I normally suggest playing as a rogue for crit chance or a mage just because mages all they have to do is either be support or be offensive and if you don't feel like being offensive like being the person that has to do everything for your team because mages you can be an arcane warrior you can carry your team without any problem but most mages are meant for support which pretty much means you're going to be putting barrier on your team infinitely um, best character for that's Cerebus or the Keeper Virtuous is okay, it's just kind of lame. Soon. Doesn't even do it by a big amount. But, um... When you promote mages, though, it upgrades magic damage. Which, magic damage pretty much means every time you promote, you're getting a little bit more damage. You're also getting magic defense. But, um... The reason I also suggest rogues is because what rogues do is crit chance and you know range defense but that doesn't matter because arrows do low damage on difficulties that you should be playing on when you start off but um the crit chance um if you get your cunning to 200 you always crit which means you always insta kill which i mean that's pretty good um normally though i wouldn't suggest doing that to start off i would suggest getting your cunning to like maybe 20 or 30 before playing as anything else and the reason's just because um, every bit of cunning is 0.5% chance so every two cunning you have that is a 1% um, chance to crit if you've got 30 well 15% I mean, chance to crit 15% chance to insta kill some people like doing it up to like a hundred though some people just stick with it till 200 because insta kills but no matter which one you go with just make sure to stick with that idea because if you get bored and decide to stop doing that you won't want to continue it later and ooh, 666 damage I'm Satan 
I wondered about the devil horns. Anyway, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much how that all works. I'd come with you to kill the rest of these I mean, if you play as a warrior though, that upgrades uh, melee defense, which does make your survival rate better. You will survive more. Same with um, willpower. So, whichever one you go with, um, most people do warriors first, and that's just because they don't like being a weak little mage that has to support their team. But the support helps their team a lot. It also generates bonus XP, so people level up faster because supports are in their team. Because all warriors do is generate XP off of kills and kill streaks. But supports can actually give support XP, which, you know, useful. I think the Virtuoso gives the highest support XP, other than the Cerebus, if you have that ability that shields your old team over any distance. And that ability is really funny because. The Cerebus, um, a lot of people use it as offensive, but if you suck at the game, you could just have that ability to shield your allies over any distance, and some people will like just do Nightmare with you, so long as you'll do that, because you can keep whole teams alive on Nightmare doing that. I mean, so long as they can do enough damage to support themselves a little bit. You think you win? But I mean, if you just have one OP person in your game, and then you've got two or three Cerebuses just constantly using that barrier technique, that pretty much guarantees that you're gonna probably win. Okay, and also, um, this guy has like two or three stages, and then he does this where he overdoses on his Red Lyrium, so he dies. He's probably the easiest boss to kill. But, um, because he has stages, he's not the quickest boss to kill. Matter of fact, um, the Venatory Commander chick who took forever's Legionnaire because of that barrier, a lot of characters can dispel that barrier or just tear through it with damage really quickly, like this character. And had I been doing that, um, the Venatory Commander is probably the second or third quickest. Uh, the other one is the Darkspawn boss. I hate the Darkspawn because of Zone 4, though, with the guns, but, um... If you actually do the Darkspawn boss, though, um, pretty much it's just, you kill it. I mean, you can kill it probably. Most characters can kill it in five hits if you're doing good enough damage. Uh, even noobs can, uh, depending on difficulty, of course. Our captain is alive and safe. But, yeah, you should be proud. that's how that they works. Did well. Okay. And we're getting close to the end of the broadcast. Just one more match. Actually, I should check time real quick. See how long this has been. Okay, that hasn't been too long. It's definitely not my longest broadcast. Okay. Well, that's good. So that was the Qatari on that difficulty. Anyway, um, like I said, I might want to save these like rogues for uh, the dragon maps, or just going back and doing these maps again. Probably should have done them first, actually. But uh, I mean, might as well go in order. I'm already doing it. I mean, the only rogue I was really worried about was the assassin to begin with. Because the assassin, I'm good is it enough to play like pairless on dragon maps, but the thing is though, um, if I'm not a high enough level, like as that character, or if I'm just flat out soloing, I do kind of worry about it just because it's a squishy character. It's not really survivability, it's more just that character's meant for complete damage. And the assassin's probably my favorite rogue be honest cuz um the assassin most of its attacks crit always and even when they don't they do massive damage it's normally like a thousand a hit key outposts must be secured our agents are in route whatever these agents face let's hope it's not only thing that i don't like about the assassin is if you're trying to get into low level lobby matches just so that you can like find people to play with uh normally when you do that, um, you can normally find groups that will let you support them. Like, just, you know, you hold up the lobby and they'll go into higher difficulties with you and they'll be support, they'll be whatever you need. 
but problem with assassin is people don't trust the assassin because low levels trying to be assassins are such a horrible thing that's pretty much if they see you and they don't think you're good they'll try to vote to kick you yeah. or they'll just leave the lobby instantly because it's just they don't trust it that much the characters uh like i said really squishy so it dies insanely fast for low levels most people can't do any difficulty on it. I think I've done one nightmare match as it though, so I'm confident in my ability, just not to the extent where I try to solo pairless or nightmare under normal circumstances with it. I mean, it's a good character though. See that? Did I miss an enemy? Oh, I missed a bunny. No, die. <laughs> yeah, no, but. Doo -doo 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 -doo. See though, it, it whenever I get a crit, it normally hits close to a thousand, and the higher your level, the more that actually goes up. Um, I'm used to doing most matches. Like sometimes I don't promote the assassin, and the reason's just because when it's a high level, I like screwing around, just joining people's games and insta killing things. Because right now it's two hit killing. Well, it's only level twelve, so. And that's partially due to the uh, Hakon's Mercy that I have, which is the glowing neon dagger. I also like to call it my flashlight, but yeah. Interesting. Just a little side fact. Nah, but you can tell though, this is probably like one of the faster characters to kill everything with. Are you serious? I hate when they like respawn late. Okay, and after this, by the way, I might not go straight to doing the dragon maps. I might wait a little bit, because I might play Dark Souls and do that, or I might play something else, I don't know. Depends what I'm feeling. You know, you gotta feels. You gotta feels the games you plays. Oh, yeah, by the way, another thing. Um, the Assassin, a lot of people say she's bald. Um, I want you to look at this. Hold up, hold up. Get really close. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? If I can just get it to where she doesn't turn invisible. Well, if you actually look at it, pretty much she does have hair. It's a buzz cut. It's just an insanely tiny buzz cut. Yeah, you can only see it in certain lightings, though. That, um, if you actually look at her head, though, you'll notice that the white patch over her head doesn't match her neck or her cheeks. And the reason for that is because that's actually hair. She's not bald. She's just really. Her hairstyle's horrible. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and sometimes you fly when you attack down staircase. I forgot to mention that. It's one of her quirks. She knows how to fly. Done before it is done. Oh yeah, also, try not to get stunned while opening doors, because I know it happens to warriors, I don't know if it happens to the other classes, but if you're in the middle of opening a door, and an enemy knocks you over or stuns you, you cannot open that door. I don't know if it's just warriors, um, that's the only circumstance that I've had it happen to. Ever since it happened a few times, um, like after about the third or fourth time, I kind of learned to kill every enemy first, and then whenever the place is cleared, then try it. Because um, it glitches the door to where you can't open it. No chest for you. So, yeah. Nah, but like, that ability almost hit for 3,000 and it wasn't even a crit. So. That's my demonstration as to her damage. Also, being invisible and then stabbing people. Uh that normally generates a crit, but for some reason the damage is low sometimes. Probably actually just because of the enemies it was. She does have a problem with hitting pots though. Which is why you got the throne blades. Okay. I love how fast she is. I suppose that is something. Visible. Look. Okay. So this is going well. 
Six six five. Damn it! I'm so close to being Satan. Six five six. <laughs> Why is it always critting close to my favorite number? Six six three. Really? Seven one one. By the way, I do pay attention to the damage numbers just for whenever it crits and normally it'll pop up in really huge letters 666. I don't know why. It's probably not healthy, but you know, it's my way of having fun. Oh, this is that poison room I was talking about. This only happens in the beginner maps and it's really annoying. Because you have to stay in that little circle to not be affected by the poison, meaning you have to carry a really, really stupid torch around. Uh, easiest way to do it on lower difficulties is just do what I'm doing, run it, because carrying it with you and sitting there as a group is only good if you're playing as ranged characters. If you're a warrior or uh, just a rogue that doesn't have uh, ranged like, bow attacks, then it's a really bad idea to just sit in there trying to fight unless you're on too high of a difficulty to handle doing that because if you can't run it then don't run it but you know if you can do it I suppose that is something. easiest way to deal with it that's all 666 it was on the assassin okay let's go scrubs, scrubs. Call me a heartbreaker, because I like to jam my fists right into your heart and just clutch. <laughs> okay. Now then, zone five. And now then, we're fighting red Templars, right? I think. I <laughs> hope. Pretty sure I wasn't paying. Yeah, yeah. The red crystals mean red Templars. By the way, that's another thing. Um, the maps do change a little bit. Um, depending on what enemy type you're fighting, so it's a good little telltale sign of what you're fighting. Blades out! Join the dance! <laughs> Join the dance! <laughs> Boom! I'm impressed. Four thousand. That is damage. And if I was invisible and that critted, that would be even more. Okay. I suppose that is something. I like that boom. I don't know why I get random songs stuck in my head while I'm trying to murder people. It's not a good habit. I should probably pay more attention to the people I'm murdering. But, you know. Okay. Let's just watch this guy suffer an overdose. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the best part is he actually tries to crawl a little bit, so they made that really morbid how he overdosed and then tried to crawl. Uh, he was that serious about killing you. Okay. And that is that. And now we're gonna be invisible for that ending. Our agents prove their metal, I'm proud to say. Look how pro I he look. Deserves a reward. Perhaps tickets to the theater? Oh, am I cool now? Okay, now while I would want to say that um, I can do... Oh wait, really? Really? I just realized I didn't change the map when I changed care. I'm stupid. Okay, guess we'll do one more. And actually, you know what, since it's going to be this one... 
I was debating on playing the Necromancer because it was a winter map. It seemed like it fit. You know, winter is coming. Okay, well, see, I don't like the idea that I didn't do that map, so I was gonna say <laughs> I like the idea of doing a dragon map, but I don't want to because kind of. Uh, I do kind of like keeping a time amount that I've used up to make these episodes, so yeah. But we'll overlap it for this, because we kind of do need to just beat it. Just beat it. I've received word of a threat to the Inquisition. I've sent some recruits to investigate. I trust our people. Whatever the trouble, they'll know what to do. They're bound for a Tavinta ruin with plenty of places to hide. Probably should have checked my bow, actually. I don't know why I didn't do that. What bow is it? Oh, okay, I think that's hard string, not positive. Sometimes I just like screwing around using different weapons. That's why my characters aren't exactly what I remember. But let's hope that that's it really is. Quite amazing. Yeah, yeah, there's health on uh that's yeah, okay. It's definitely. Wow. Now let's go. Oh god, what was that crunching sound? I heard, like, a really disturbing crunch. What is in there? Oh! Where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> oh, it just kind of appeared. I don't know how a rhinoceros just kind of appears, but apparently that's something they can do now. Okay. For a second, though, I was actually worried because if if I'm the only one who knows that I might be going crazy, but there was just kind of a loud nom, <laughs> just crunch, sounded like a tree being torn out of the ground in <laughs> seven days to die. <sighs> Those things are terrifying, by the way. Like whenever a tree just kind of falls over, the really huge ones, not the small I've ones, but you can hear the whole thing being uprooted. Actually, there's a good series I should do. I, uh, wow. Seven Days to Die is actually a cool game. I don't know if that'd get views, though. Because, I mean, I know a lot of games, people like watching just for a few seconds to see what it is, but people watch in huge groups because it's, you know, it's a game that looks cool, but they're not sure because it's not popular right now. That's how Dragon Age is. That's how most LEGO games is for little kids. But, uh, and, you know, that every now and then adult. I mean, I have LEGO games. I, I mean, I buy almost every game in the Xbox store. But, that's not really a good excuse for having LEGO games. Wow. I mean, I don't have well, any of those Dance Central games, so. But, yeah. Look. And now that's the... I think I have a shot. I love how that shot literally it took out again. all of its health but a tiny fraction. <laughs> okay. I think that killed something through the stairs.
Ooh, 21 kill streak. Okay. Wow. Nope. That's really quite amazing. I don't want any. Wait, why does that thing have to walk around? Why can't it just... you know what, never mind. I mean, it sounded like a good question, and it really is, but I mean... This game's AI are kind of stupid. Doesn't mean they have weak stats, but they do stupid stuff sometimes. And if you get on a crate, they'll hit you no matter how big the crate is, even if their swords don't touch you. And I mean, like, literally, their swords don't have to touch you to touch you. If you actually slow down frame rate and just look at it, you'll notice half the time the attacks don't even hit you. Oh, and sorry if it seems like I'm just not going out of my way for pots, really. I don't. <laughs> it's just not something I ever think about. I mean, I think about it, and then I think, eh, I don't really need them. I've kind of got all the gear that I actually need, except for, like, a tack-ons two-hander if I actually want one, but I don't play as two-handers that often. Because um, I do play as Reaver every now and then whenever I just need to speedrun people as level 1. But normally what I do is I play as Arcane Warrior. Just because willpower. Yeah, this is zone 4 of Darkspawn, by the way. Which means pretty much assassins and midgets with guns. That's literally how you define this. I suppose that's progress. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Get away from me. I call rape. Now I don't even know which enemy does the most damage to me honestly, because all of them do insane amounts. It's just kind of like they do so much magic damage, you feel it no matter what. And I mean, yeah, you can get your uh, magic defense high enough to where they don't do damage, but I think it has to be at like 60 or 70, which is kind of stupid given the fact, like, okay, think about it like this. Those machine gunners shoot so many times, even if you're taking one damage like I am, you're still taking like 30 damage in total. You actually need like constitution to cover for that. Ooh, look at that. Got more viewers. Isn't that lovely? You know, people, if you ever want to talk in the chat, I'm very lonely. I don't have friends. I just have enemies and then people that I kill a lot. Oh. Uh, my constitution, I think, is around 50. Um, I'll check after this match. I think it's like 46 or 47. And we're at zone 5. Okay. <laughs> what diff- Okay. So, when you ask that, 
uh, for the record, I can play on higher difficulties. Um, I don't even normally play as an archer, but I'm on routine right now just for this video's sake. Should be safe. Okay, the the broadcast's sake, I'm on routine. Like, it, if you want, I can play as an arcane warrior in solo perilous, though. I mean, then again, that's not really much, but anyone can wow. do that. Scratch that. I can solo perilous as most characters. <laughs> I just that's like really playing as the arcane nice. warrior. I mean, I can play as Cerebus, though, and just be a shield for you if you want. Wait, where's... Oh. Templar fuck the world. <laughs> Oh, I like you. <laughs> uh, okay. Swear to God, if it weren't for the fact magic damage is my one weakness, this wouldn't be such a problem. Uh, okay. This is why I need to play as the arcade warrior a lot. I think I remembered why I quit the game. <laughs> Swear to god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of DA. Had 233 hours on my first playthrough. Love the mage. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's really cool. Legionnaire was How crazy OP so before well? they nerfed the... Like, wow. Yeah, no. The Legionnaire... <laughs> uh... That used to be an OP class. Now, most classes honestly were OP. I mean, the Reaver was insanely OP till they fucking nerfed that ability that when enemies die around you, you get a huge stat boost. Because that thing was so OP that your stats, randomly your speed could speed up to where you'd go around the map, which was pretty cool. But yeah, no, nah, Legionnaire had like huge defense and damage though. You should be proud. They did well. was fun, but Legionnaire was immortal. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be fair, though, Legionnaire is pretty much still immortal if you've got the right stats for it, but, I mean, that's... Like, lately, that's every character, because everyone's just pretty much a prestige lord if they still play this. I'm just getting back into it, so... Friend Zelda with Legionnaire Nightmare Run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happens. Okay, anyway... Uh, actually, you know what, since we got people in here now, I think I'll keep playing. I'll do the dragon maps. Uh, okay. Let's do Inferno. By the way, right now, um, for anyone who's watching, uh, we're just, pretty much, I'm just soloing on each map on routine first, and then I'm gonna crank it up to threatening, then perilous, you know, and I'm just kind of going through the characters in order. Or his damage was bad, but still. <laughs> Watching you now, I want to play a rogue. Bows look nice too. Yeah. Nah, like if you're gonna play as a rogue, um, all the archers are really good, but uh, personally, assassin's just my favorite. That's just like my quickie. All the speed runs. Oh, look at that. Now we got more viewers. Woo, starting an army. <laughs> uh, let's all start a Dragon We've Age got army. Reports of a high dragon nearby. If true, it could be worse than war. We can be bigger than the cult of Joshin. <laughs> the monster's a fire breather, if you believe the stories. I've sent soldiers to investigate. If this dragon is more than a wild tale, they'll okay. handle it. Isabel is my favorite rogue. Yeah, 
Honestly, the duelist is a pretty good yeah, class. Quite amazing. I uh personally whenever I play as her though, I really love wow. the cannons that she can shoot. <laughs> Cause people can insta kill the fucking the dragon with that if they crit. Uh but Archer with high enough dex was really OP. Yeah, um honestly uh that. Yeah, the archer does Number. do good DPS. But personally though, if wow. you get your cunning up to where you can crit more often, uh most of its abilities can actually insta kill. Like it's about the equivalent to an assassin but ranged once you get enough uh cunning. Boom. Uh, are you I missed. I feel like a failure. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh wait, do I have that belt on that insanely lowers my health but gives me high lightning damage? I'm really hoping I don't. Uh, I don't know, I, I, I don't think these guys do high damage. So that's that's good. I mean, we are on routine. I'll live. Wow. Uh, Look! Yeah. Uh, most people played Archer from level 12, just stood in the corner of a wall and spam leaping shot because every crit shortened its cooldown, they could just spam it like crit. Yeah. Nah, um, there's one glitch with the Elementalist actually. Um, I think it's on its right skill tree. Um, if you get that one ability that cools down when you get a uh, crit, I forgot exactly what it does, but, um,. Found seven dragons. How many are there? Um, I don't know actually. I think there's one in every continent. But uh, anyway, though, back onto the duelist thing though. So like pretty much eight or so, I think. But um, what the elementalist has though is if you get a crit and you have fade cloak, if you spam fade cloak, you can click it as fast as you can. And aside from your screen shaking, you're pretty much most attacks go through you and you insta kill. The solo game, there are ten. Okay, not eight. Ten. At least you people are helping each other out. This <laughs> is all that matters. Okay. Oh, I glitched one scither. <laughs> uh. And got for a group from Barry. Yeah, um, I I know about that with the uh, virtuoso. But uh, actually, what's really funny is uh, when the virtuoso first got added. I think they patched it already, cause I noticed that you can't put barrier on the NPCs anymore. But um, that glitch that could pretty much make any NPC invincible because the barrier once it maxed out with the other would just kind of stay maxed out. So, you know, it's pretty much like you could make the NPCs invincible. Same with supplies. Because for some reason, so long as the barrier was on supplies, they just kind of wouldn't disappear. Troubling news about a certain party within the enemy's ranks. Ooh, misery. I took the initiative and sent soldiers to deal with it. Uh, this game has a lot of glitches with skills, though, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, they patched it a lot, though, because, I mean, you know, Reaver used to fucking teleport around. This is good, I really loved it from the mages. Yeah. Wow. Actually, secretly, my favorite uh, mage is Necromancer, and not for play-wise, but actually, um, you can really troll people with it, because if you resurrect something, your team can't move on to the next floor until that something's dead, but, I mean, like, it can last for up to, like, 60 seconds, I think. They never fix the alchemist flying bombs glitch. She is unusable the way she is supposed to be playing. <laughs> oh... Isn't that the glitch that makes it so that whenever you throw bombs, they go into low gravity? Uh, oh god. I would have thought they would have fixed that. I don't... 
that's the thing also, that used to not be a glitch. That was something that just kind of started happening after they patched, I think it was the Reaver or something. So they patched one low gravity problem with another low gravity problem. <laughs> the gravity glitch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, is PS4 better than Xbox One? I'm thinking about getting a PS4 too. Um... Eh, that depends, honestly. Um, right. the way I see it, I like Xbox One games a little bit less than PS4, and the reason for that is because PS4 has more RPGs. I like RPGs more, but ironically, I only have an Xbox One. I've played PS4 a lot, though. Um, so, I mean, it depends what type of games you like. Like, I do like the games on Xbox One, but PS4 just has more RPGs, so that's the reason I'd prefer it. But, um, all in all, I mean, it really depends what type of games you like. If anything, just um, look up the marketplace for both. I tend to throw all my bombs when dragon flapped wings just to see them fly, then stuck up in the air. I was useless, but I had so much fun with it. Yeah. Uh, actually, um, I don't know if they ever patched it, but when that, that dragon amazing. throws you up, sometimes the... Uh, oh, that's really... Yeah, no. Uh, RPGs are really fun. But, uh, no, like... The dragon, when it pulls you up, sometimes you could get on top of it and ride it until you fell off and died, or fell off to the edge of the map and respawned in. Which, I mean, that's always fun. But, uh, yeah, no, um, Sophia, it depends on what types of RPGs you're looking for, because, I mean, uh, if you want, go on the, uh, PlayStation Network, um, like on their website, look up their games, uh, go on Xbox website, look up their games, or, you know, just the Marketplace. Uh, compare and contrast RPGs. I mean, Xbox is about to get a lot more backwards compatible that are going to be fun, but just compare and contrast whichever one has more RPGs that you'd like, that's honestly your best bet for which one you're going to prefer. Wait, is that all the enemies? No, there's one more. Where the hell you at? Come here, friend. I want to play with you. Be my friend. <laughs> oh, it's a dog. Oh, did I kill my friend? First, drop the key. Yeah, okay, there. Good tip, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Actually, now that I think about it, like, honestly, PlayStation, um, the only difference between Xbox One and PlayStation, really, is one, the games. Two, though, also, PlayStation really tries to outcompete Xbox, so they do get more free games. Xbox, though, the only reason I stick with it is just because I play a lot, um, and I already have most of the games on the yeah, Xbox One store. Uh, did you farm the hack on weapons out? No, actually. I, matter of fact, only have one hack on. I did not do that a lot. And the reason's just because I never saw a reason to. Because the only hack on that matters to me, really, is the daggers, maybe, if you're going for DPS, and the two-hander. I didn't really want any of the others, because the staff's effect just seemed kind of stupid compared to the Heart of Pride. If you've got that uh, belt that makes it so that your lightning attack sends to kill. That's like how I go with the Arcane Warrior. It's the only reason I can solo Perilous without any problems insta-killing. But, uh, yeah, I've only got one hack on. <laughs> I never even tried to farm them out, because, you know. I mean, even if you farm them out, you can still get them from chests, because that uh, item rate does never drop. They're always rare. Yeah, that's quite amazing. Like, actually, um, that's another thing that was really funny. Um, before they stopped the weekend events, those uh, diary things, or books of the Inquisition, whatever it was, uh, they did on E3 this year. Better lineup of games. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, though, um, like, for the hack on weapons, though, I had one friend, too, those Books of the Inquisition things that, uh, they used to do for events. Like, if you completed all the events, you got one, you had to get five, and you got a free chest. Well, um, what was so cool about that was the free chest could have really good items or really crap items. All I got out of them was uh, the dragon armor for characters, and one of my friends got literally, um, 
what was it? He got like every single hack on out of it and not a single dragon armor, which was stupid because you can earn the dragon armors without any effort now. Uh, do you still have the troll map? Wait, what do you mean the troll map? I actually want to know what the troll map is. What's the troll map? <laughs> I'm concerned. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, all the fire. Uh, with command. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I know Commander Druffy real well. <laughs> I'm gonna go play Dragon Age, take care. Okay, have fun, Sophia. Yeah, no, Van Vanguard, I, I know Commander Druffy real well. He made me dance and then killed me with wasps. Uh, is that still in this? Is there like a small percent chance that that can be an enemy type? Yeah, yeah, best map. No, it's not the best map. He wrecks. He literally makes you do the kukaracha and then throws wasps at you. I know pain. <laughs> you don't know pain. <laughs> Yeah, no, is that still a thing, though? Because uh, Commander Druffy was, like, literally one of my favorite things in this game, aside from the cupcakes that are under, like, every Dragon Age map in the story mode. I mean, there was also that one community event we failed, where it was like, <laughs> oh, you didn't kill enough giants. Well, let's make every enemy a giant. That's the only reason I know that um, on this map, actually, if there's giants, if you go under to where the two treasure rooms are um, and wait in that little bridge area, giants, when they jump down there, fall through the map and die. Oh, good strategies. Good strategies. We've sighted supplies in a remote part of the western approach. Okay, yeah, no, but uh, Vanguard, is that still a thing? Like, do you know if that Commander is, Druffy still... Because that's something I'd worry I about. I mean, I heard it was, but I'm not sure. Is it... <laughs> Uh, cause that was nightmare fuel. So there's one, I guess. Uh, by the LOL, I'll just take that as yes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, let's yeah, just hope it's a really small amazing. percent chance and doesn't happen. Oh god. I don't want none. I don't want. Oh god, I just realized I'm fighting the midgets. Wow. They have knocked down like crazy. Please, Impressive. please let me get the supplies. Don't do this. Don't do this. Did I get them? I got them. Okay. That's all that matters. Okay. Ew. Gonna just put this here. I'll let them step on it. Hi, friend. Bye, friend. <laughs> Uh, now when you get the troll map on, man, when you try to level level one characters fast there, now that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I, I don't want to imagine being a level one and having to fight Commander Druffy. That just sounds like a bad time. It's just like, even if you have high health, you're going to be sitting there dancing with a bunch of wasps killing you for like a minute. Like, he did it for a long time. He also, like, had that random red lightning that could cause huge explosions, which made no sense. Uh, he was the Jesus of Druffalo. <laughs> but it's good to know it's still a thing. Uh, more nightmare fuel. Whoo. <laughs> I don't like it. I just realized, ever since we started having conversations, now there's, like, more people watching. <laughs> Still not as many as earlier, but definitely more people watching. This is what happens when you communicate and make friends. Oh Jesus. Set the world on fire! I need to play this thing sometime again. Good memories. <laughs> yeah. Uh. To be honest, I haven't played in a while, but... This, this game is fun. I mean, it doesn't really get old. At least not until the next Dragon Age comes out, because th then it's old. It's definitely old. 
I hope they don't close down servers, because I did hear something about that um, while I was on their forums or something. Uh, somebody was saying the Xbox 360 servers for it were going to get closed eventually. That felt sad. 250 games on there. Still need to get... <laughs> yeah. Uh, nah, but, like, seriously, though, uh, I'm really hoping they don't close down servers. I mean, if they close down on 360, I guess that makes sense, because 360 is getting old. But if they close down the one, that's really going to suck. Because this game's still good. I mean, hopefully it lasts until the next Dragon Age. Or, you know, maybe they won't shut them down. Let's hope for that. But, yeah. Who knows? Not. Uh, the only difficulties I think I've got 250 games on actually are routine, and I think I've got them on threatening, but I'm not sure about that one. And I actually, like, I sat there for, I think, three days straight. I don't even think I slept doing the routine one, because I normally, whenever I started, I didn't play routine. But I just decided, you know what, I'm going to join a bunch of low levels and play down. Be bad to shut down too many good memories there, though I play on PC. Yeah. Well, nah, the reason I heard they're shutting down on uh, 360 was because uh, either it was a lot of people don't play it or a lot of people are hacking now. I don't remember which one it was. But, uh, yeah. And I know, like, um, on 360, that double XP glitch that they had, they patched that really late. Like, on the one, they patched it after, like, a month after it became well known to, like, even the noobs. But freaking, uh, that double XP glitch, though, was around on 360 for, I think, three or four months after that. That's why the uh, guy on the top leaderboards is on top right now, which is really ridiculous, because he's on top by a few thousand. I'm pretty sure that pissed off a lot of people, because he was the only person who thought about doing that. To be fair, though, it was kind of smart, but, eh. I probably should have used a dragon god, I just realized that. Because I was trying to showcase every difficulty and everything with every map. And this was just going to be the routine broadcast, but... Eh. Guess that's off the <laughs> possibility list. I mean, I could go back whenever I do threatening, Moment but... Moment of truth! Eh. Here they come! <laughs> Moment of truth! Here they come! Yeah, that's quite amazing. Also, that's another thing um, yeah, that I just remembered. If amazing. you need the uh, killing large animals challenge because that's like 5,000, I think, which is ridiculous considering one spawns in per map, do a dragon map yeah, and just don't kill the dragon. Amazing. Kill all the dragonlings because those count. Boom. And the reason I learned that was specifically for that challenge. I think I spent like a few hours just sitting in one lobby with a dragon on routine killing them over and over. Where's the boss? Oh, there he is. Are you serious? I really hate it when you can't move sometimes because like an enemy gets in your way but it doesn't look like they're in your way. Okay, I think I bought that achievement on the slow way. Yeah, nah, that thing though, for me, the thing was I just didn't feel like doing 5,000 matches because the thing is, that challenge wasn't even implemented until, I think, the final update before they stopped sending out events, which it was just like, 
Oh, wow. So anyone who had killed them beforehand, it didn't matter. <laughs> at all. It's kind of stupid, but eh. Like, I, I seriously just wanted an easy way to do it, because that challenge was ridiculously long, is the thing. Uh, meteors for days. I miss the stupid spider kills. Yeah. The spider killing was kind of stupid just off the basis that one, it's a treasure room enemy that only sometimes spawns. Two, even if you can get them often, you actually have to take the time to open up every treasure room and hunt them down and hope that your teammates don't kill them because, you know, in most situations, your teammates kill them. Okay, and oh no, 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 it's gonna suicide, it's gonna suicide! Oh god! Is it, is it? Please tell me it's not. Boom, oh no, it's suicide. It killed a few of its allies. <laughs> or hoping we can challenge with spiders additionally yeah, added. Yeah. I mean, the weekend challenges were really cool, but, uh, do they still have those on PC? I know on consoles they took them off, because whenever they just stopped updating the game, it was just kind of like, eh, it's over. We'll give them a few double XP weekends, and they can go have fun, but after that, we're... I mean, we already took out the glitch, so no double XP for you fuckers. <laughs> you know. That was a good round. I mean, it was really cool, though, that they I had... So oh, it's not... Oh, okay. Well, yeah. They stopped last year, December, yeah. I figured they would because, uh, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, the way they do it is they work on uh, Mass Effect and they work on Dragon Age, and then, yeah, but since they started working on Mass Effect, they had to stop with all the events and stuff. Ugh. Pretty sure that's at least how it went. Okay. Well, that was fun. Uh, I don't want to do Keeper. <laughs> We're just going to skip over that, because I don't like playing as the Keeper solo. That's like my support character. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Now we're not going to play as every character. We're just going to play as the good characters. <laughs> I already played as enough characters that I don't like playing as. Well, that actually only one, I think. Now we got one more match after this, and then the broadcast is going to be over, and I think I'm going to move over to Dark Souls, because, uh, you know. I mean, honestly, I've been doing a playthrough on that, but that's just, eh. Never felt like finishing it. Dark Souls 1, though, so isn't hard. I mean, in all honesty, you can speedrun the game in an hour. I was just kind of showing uh, the easy way to do it without, you know, speedruns or anything. I've sent soldiers to Cause I mean, if you're speedrunning Dark Souls, you can skip the majority of the game. Tale. They'll handle it. Incredible. Is it Dark Spawn? Okay. Good. Do. -do. Got, gotta love this reaver stab. The claws on the reaver are freaking OP. They just like flat out wreck. Do you see that? Oh. Oh. Okay, at least it's just a bear. I forgot what that one animal was, but there's one animal that sometimes spawns in. It reminds me of uh that one Jinchuriki from Naruto that's inside of Gara. Because it looks like the Sand Demon Shikaku. 
the one-tailed. Uh. Oh, hi doggies. How, how are you? Oh, okay, okay, good. For a second I thought they were having like a heart attack. I didn't want to hit them while that was happening. I would have felt really bad. Might have actually gained emotions. Unhealthy thing. Boom. That's like nothing I've ever seen. Okay, so they're dead. They're dead. Literally, playing as the reavers just they're dead. Now they're dead. Now they're dead. Oh, jammed a claw on his face. Now they're dead. That's literally all this character is. <laughs> She's a horrifying person. <laughs> okay. I love how a lot of people have been watching this, but like nobody ever follows the channel. <laughs> Some of our forces were cornered uh, by the enemy. It all I get is viewers back. nowadays. <laughs> Over here. Just in time, my friend. They cornered me. I'm not even kidding. Like, it doesn't even count most of them. What's your four skill for? Oh, Dragon Rage, Rampage, Life Stealer, and the last. Soon. Oh, I use um the uh pound ability that she starts off with. I don't even remember what it's called because I haven't played in a while, but uh yeah, that no, the only reason I keep that though is just for the uh, stuns. I'm not so easy to kill. Like whenever I play as Reaver, I prefer to just keep it kind of bland. Thoughts on Katari? <laughs> um, well, are you asking what I think of the character, or are you asking if I think it's good? Because <laughs> if you're asking what I think of the character, it looks like a really satanic gray person who's kind of dying on the inside. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, their actual method for fighting everything is, oh look, enemy, smash. I mean, honestly, they do good damage and everything, and they do generate good guard, but I mean, on higher difficulties, it doesn't pull off well unless, you know, you're good with that type of thing. Personally, I mean, I can, I just don't normally because, I don't know, I like charging into enemies and wrecking them, I just don't like charging through enemies and then hoping my guard will hold up while I'm wrecking them. You know, relying on hope isn't really a good thing. Especially when you're playing as a character who looks like they're dying. I mean, he really does though. Like, zoom in on his face while you're playing, is it? He's got like little... I mean, to be fair, the the girl I'm playing as isn't much better. I mean, if you look at her face... What is that? Why does she need that much face paint? Uh, it just doesn't work with her. It doesn't match her complexion. Okay. But I mean, o overall, the guitar is not half bad. It's just, you know, it's kind of got to be your thing to actually like playing as it. Rest of these brutes, but make preserve me. I can barely breathe as it is. I'll take it slow, make me own way from here. <laughs> no, take it Good slow, luck. maybe my old legs won't give out later. <laughs> he makes it sound like he's gonna fall over and die. Incredible. Oh, little bunny, no, no. Uh, that reminded me of Outlast. Little piggy, no more escaping. Uh, I rolled Nightmare with Katari a lot and able to keep it up very easily. My favorite DPS team. Incredible. Are the best of all. Reaver the easy mode. <laughs> but Katari had equal challenge and fun, fast thinking mechanic to fall. Yeah. It that that pretty much is what it is. I mean, personally, the only reason I don't like it is because um I don't have the stats to really roll with it. Because I didn't play the game enough as a warrior. Um, also, like, 
if you played since the game came out, you probably know that when it first came out, people didn't think to promote. What mattered was gear. And then when people started being promotion lords, that's when it all started getting like, oh, we can promote and actually get insanely stronger. So, yeah, because of that, I mean, I was level 20 for like a few hundred matches on most of my characters. My promotions were 150, 150. Oh, God. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Why'd you stop at 150 for... Like, I mean, I get it, but you know you were so close to cunning 200. Actually, to be fair, like, the defense stops going up at, I think, around, like, 175 or something for most of the defenses. But, I mean... That still means you're practically invincible on Perilous if you got your defenses all the way up and had dragon armor. Or at least I'm pretty sure it's about roughly invincible. Except for a few exceptions, which, you know, you, you can probably guess what those exceptions are. Axe thrower from Darkspawn. <laughs> Gun guys from Darkspawn. <laughs> you know, the, the Darkspawn. <laughs> Actually, wait. Hold, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna see if I have one. I don't. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, because if I had a dragon call, <laughs> I don't know why. I, I think I already have the 15 dragons on routine. Uh, the people I used to play with quit and alone was not that much fun <laughs> after that many promotions and stats. Yeah. Honestly, this is the type of game you need friends with. Um... What I normally do, like, really, if I get bored while playing it, I'll just go into routine lobbies and just be like, will you guys be my friends, please? I'm lonely. I need someone to help me. <laughs> Not even in the game, just with life. <laughs> and then, you know, I mean, whenever I play with noobs, normally I'll, like, play as a Cerebus, and I'll just, you know, keep them alive. Or I'll play as something else support, and I'll just pretend I'm really bad. And then if ever they want me to be OP, I'll just, you know, be OP. That's just easy. Because, I mean, a lot of people are still new to this game. Like, some people just, like, happen to have gotten the game. And, I mean, whenever that's the case, I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can keep them invincible, or you can just wreck everything for them. And, I mean, they're normally appreciative of it. Uh, I could sell the pair. This is level one on many characters. Is it keepers. Is it without friends, it is not a trend. Yeah. That was really my point, though. That's why I said normally I just stick as support and just kind of uh, help out noobs. And the reason for that is um, what I do pretty much is just pretend I'm bad, and then I just kind of talk to them and just hang out with them while we're playing. If I can't get this, please, please. Okay, fine. You know what? You're all dead to me. <laughs> I really hate the gunners. You know what? If I can't have it, you're all gonna die. I mean, you're all gonna die anyway. You might as well just let me have it. What was that? Why did a building just fall on me? Just, just random rubble. Okay, you know what? Giving up on it. I'm gonna just give up on it. No, but I mean, honestly, I can sometimes solo Perilous as a Reaver uh, as level 1. The only problem is, though, is whenever I try that, um, my stats aren't high enough for that normally. I mean, every now and then, though, if it's just Red Templar or something, I can do it no problem. Like, I mean, though, if you can't tell even on here, though, the magic defense I have is so shit, though, on routine, these guys do lower my health bar a little bit. Which, I mean, that's my only problem.
Hashtag female player problems. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's okay. I have the same problem with everyone. <laughs> uh. The sad part is it's not a joke. Everyone's like that deep down inside. Except for the people that are used to it. But yeah, nah, like... Nah, that's kinda just a thing. <laughs> just the lols. I really hope you didn't misinterpret that to guys doing that to me, because, oh god, <laughs> it doesn't happen, I swear. Actually, I think that did... Oh, wait. Okay, I'm gonna lie and say that didn't happen. We're gonna pretend that's a thing, and that I totally didn't just, like, kind of listen to it and leave the game afterwards. Totally not what happened one time. <laughs> oh, I'm scarred for life. <laughs> uh. Was a guy. Oh. <laughs> to help private house. <laughs> I was gonna get a friend of mine, Professor Runs, and he seriously said sure, but only if my friend is. <laughs> 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 oh god. <laughs> well. <laughs> you can't blame him for trying. Okay, actually, you probably should blame him for trying, but still. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, like, I mean, it's one thing when they're trying to hit on you, it's another thing when they're trying to get another girl in there to hit on. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's actually perfect. <laughs> Take us, uh. if you dare. I think I just snorted, oh god. Little picky, no, no, don't die today. <laughs> Incredible. That was actually that funny, too. Uh. Yeah, that's one thing I was going to do, but really... <laughs> uh, oh, okay. For a second I misread that and I thought you said was arousing. Uh, I, was, I was about to really just judge you. <laughs> But okay, no, that that honestly, I I could see how that would be funny. No, I've had people ask me if I know female players, and to be honest, it's more or less just like if somebody asks that, it's just you you don't want to tell them. It's just really awkward. But um, there was one girl I played with. Um, I forgot when it was. I think it was like a month or two ago. It was funny though because she wasn't talkative, she was really shy, and then randomly all you hear is a vibrating sound. And then <laughs> one person, hey um, are are you doing something? And then all you hear, oh crap, oh crap, and then you hear something drop, and then she leaves the game and the party. <laughs> uh. After that, I just kind of, like, left the game. <laughs> I think that was one of the funnier moments that Dragon Age has brought me. <laughs> Our agents succeeded beyond expectations. Congratulations are in order. Yeah. <laughs> All the lols. Uh, to be honest, though, like, I haven't met that many girls who 
uh, either they don't have mics on this game, or in one circumstance, I did meet somebody who had probably the worst <laughs> New Jersey accent ever. And I mean, there's a limit to what somebody can sound like if they're from New Jersey. And I think she was at that limit because, <laughs> oh, I'm from New Jersey. I just wanted to know if you could like speed run me real quick because, you know, this is, I mean, it's a pretty hard game. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I've heard that line used before, but, you know, New Jersey. <laughs> Guess it just kind of happens. Uh, but I mean, all in all, I mean, I really haven't met many. But yeah, I carried a lot of people, even helped many for their hack-on weapons. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't want to do it when you just want to relax, not to carry others. Yeah. To be fair, though, like, anyone who's played Dragon Age a lot really does feel that way. Because <laughs> anyone who's a pro normally winds up doing that, and it does get boring after a while. And I mean, if you help people enough, they start begging for it. Unless they're good enough to handle it themselves, which, I mean, you know, I mean, you feel kind of like you should help them, but at the same time, you don't want to. <laughs> they should really be able to help themselves after a while. We've gotten reports okay, of this is gonna be the uh, final one. If true, it could be worse than war for the surrounding countryside. The scouts tell me it spits lightning. I've sent soldiers to investigate. Like this dragon is more than a wild tale. Build. They'll handle the majority it. like the free ride, of course. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like. Until somebody's positive they can't get the free ride to leveling up and stuff, then it's just kind of like, they'll take it as long as you're offering it. Which, I mean, I can understand, I just do think it's kind of stupid. Oh, fuck. I just realized I'm playing as a Cerebus that's completely made for support. This this was probably the worst idea I've ever had. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Shock. Shock. Is that shock? Yeah, that's shock. Okay. Well... Time to see just how bad the- I think I also have that belt that makes it so that I have no health. Oh god. This is gonna end really bad. Actually, I don't know. I'm not really taking much damage. I guess it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's probably fine. Probably. Probably not. Probably gonna die a horrible death. The Cerebus is a murder machine. <laughs> Uh, no, no. Cerebus can be a murder machine. I'm pretty sure this is my complete support. Actually, hold up. Hold up. I want to test it. I'm going to try right bumper, and we're going to see if this is my support build or not. I'm pretty sure that's the ability that's meant for killing dragons. Oh, actually, no. No, it's not. That's good. That's neat. Good. Murder. I, have n I never had her on support. <laughs> well, you know what? I... I like to experiment with things, and support is good. Good support. <laughs> it's horrible, honestly. I can't do anything as <laughs> support. It was the worst decision of my life. Like, the reason I do support is because um, these little things that I can place down is... <laughs> destroy them. <laughs> uh, it's literally... All it is is to speed myself up so that I can cast barrier for my team more. That's That's my whole point. Support played either Zith or a Keeper. You know, that's that's really funny, actually, because that's... Pretty much that is why I played as uh, the Virtuoso or the Keeper. But, I mean, to be honest, I, I sometimes did play as the Keeper offensively. Because that is a thing, apparently. And I say it like that because I didn't know it was a thing for most of the time I played. I didn't know it had actual attacks. I just kind of stayed as Barrier. <laughs> The only reason I don't like Scyther, though, is because uh, the barriers aren't that good. Scyther is the finger killer. <laughs> yeah. Nah, um... The thing with Cerebus is, though, if you play support with uh, her, she can pretty much just keep burying everyone across the map, and that's, like, my one perk with it. Just, you know, 
Just barrier all your allies. You can go AFK spamming that button. We've sighted supplies in a remote part of the Western Approach. Our party's bound to retrieve them. Do, 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 do. You know, I just realized something. If you're one of the people watching me, that means there's two other people watching me just not talking in the chat. Oh, that's really weird. I don't know. I like it when everyone's talking. It's kind of like it has a party. Uh, when played Sither, I had everyone barriered, attack speed, heal on hit if I needed elemental resistance, and kept all the buff as active on everyone. That is the finger killer, but fun. Yeah. I mean, like, I do like that about uh, the Virtuoso, but my main thing is, though, the Virtuoso really, I think it was made for just getting support XP, because with how much you can spam, it actually can get the same amount of XP that somebody gets for killing everything in a match. And it's actually determined by your difficulty, so literally having a Virtuoso and then having somebody else kill everything separately, that pretty much means you're doubling your XP, which is something that I really liked about it. But the Cerebus though, you know, AFK, just for me spamming B button, everyone's barriered fully, always. I mean, even on Nightmare at last, like a lot of people let me do Nightmare runs with them if I'll just go AFK spamming B, nobody has a problem with it. Probably not a good thing, but, you know. New players abuse that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Vanguard, so do you have an Xbox, or do you only play PC? Like, are you watching Twitch on your computer? I mean, because I know a lot of people do that, but fair question. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God, the ice. Uh, only PC, unfortunately. Aw. I was actually going to ask if you would, like, uh, if you wanted to be friends. I mean, I don't really play many PC games. I think, like, I go as far as having a Steam account and every now and then getting on Gary's mod, but that's about it. I mean, and Team Fortress, but rarely. I don't think I've been on Team Fortress in a year. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's as far as I go in PC gaming. Yeah, yeah, platform issues always gets me. This is why I can't have nice things. <laughs> uh. Oh! Oh god! Oh god! What are you doing here? Go home! You're drunk! It's not a fun glitch. <laughs> I saw Satan's legs for the first time. I don't like seeing Satan's legs. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I've seen that dragon randomly die in the air before, and it's really ridiculous. Like, sometimes that'll happen where it'll just kind of die, fall over, out in the distance, and then when you get to the boss fight, if you uh, activated the boss fight for the dragon, it'll show up with the health bar, and then the health bar just kind of drops. It spawns in and falls to the map dead. I still love how you're the only person talking in the chat, nobody else. We, we just have spectators. Uh. Oh god, oh god. Oh, 
In this map with Cerebus, I managed to just quit on my team. Uh, I could target Dragon, it landed on that tower, and you still were. Skill Cerebus hasn't ended up on that tower. Watch my team dying under me. Yeah! Okay, no, I know what you're talking about. There's actually a lot of places on this map. Um, there used to be a glitch. They did patch it, though. Um, if you did that, you could actually skip, like, all of the zones because the dragon only stuck around where you are and if you actually skipped a zone you could open up the next door like it would be unlocked which was a really cool glitch because you could use the dragon to get out of uh, zones and just skip whole zones um i think they patched that actually like uh, three updates after the dragon maps were added like when the first or second dlc was added but no that yeah i i know what you're talking about also um that's actually another thing uh, over here, if you ever want to play hide and seek with somebody, oh fuck, oh fuck, no, okay, if you land on that rock just right, uh, you can pretty much just kind of hide there. There's a few places like that around this map, but nah, I know what you're talking about though, because, uh, the teleport skill on the dragon can get you on that tower, that tower, that wall. Also, I think there's some spots out of the map, like, uh, is it the trees? I don't remember. Uh, there's a few different places you can get to, which is really neat. I wish I could ring you, Gong, but I don't have you. I don't have your item. It was amusing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh. Oh. Of course, you're the last enemies. Of course. I hate you. I hate everything you ballerinas stand for. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Four Cerebus was added. I managed to get on the dragon zone last part next to the dragon. <laughs> well, that's nice. Oh, with Isabella? Was it like with a uh, grappling hook or something? Because I know, like, the assassin can do that. I don't know if the uh, duelist can, because I haven't played as duelist in a while. But I know the assassin can. I've done things with the assassin. <laughs> uh, actually, that's another problem. Uh, the assassin, if you infinite grapple chain, you can go through walls and stuff, which it sounds fun. It's not. Yes, with that, and that was super fun. Yeah, no, the thing with that, though, is um, the grappling hook, whenever you uh, pull yourself towards somebody and then kick off them, of half the time, if they're up against a wall, you can end up inside of a wall, which, I mean, it's not that fun whenever you get stuck in place, because you can't get out. It's also like, um, if you use grapple hook on a dead body, then that'll actually launch you just straight forward in whatever direction you're looking at, which for some reason f sends you flying. No, 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 not you, not you. Friend, don't do this. this oh, oh, wait. Isn't going well, friends. This is going well, friends. Couldn't get out. Oh, yeah. I know the feeling. I've had that happen actually on this map a lot whenever I play as the assassin, because, um,. If you actually didn't know this, um, if you do that on certain maps, you can actually see how the maps are laid out. Well, the beginner three maps are actually laid out over um, canyons that are either deserts or snow biomes, which is really cool, actually. Um, this map actually has an underground city made of wooden planks or an underground town. Uh, the only way you can find it is by doing the Assassin's Grappling Hook glitch. The only reason I found it was because I got stuck down there, and then a lot of my friends were complaining because I was the only one alive in a game. But, yeah. It's actually really cool, though. Don't know really why there's a town under this map, or why there's giant deserts or canyons under the others, but, I mean, it's cool. Why did I pick lightning? Why did it have to be demons?
burn all of you. Bitch myself out of all maps at least once. Yeah. For me, it kind of was intentionally a few times, just because I like leaving my teammates for dead. But, yeah. The only times I play Destiny are to do the same thing. Uh, actually, there's a lot of games that have, like, parkour that either shouldn't be in there, or that you can just get out of the maps with. So wait, Vanguard, uh, how long you been playing Dragon Age? That's dead, that's dead. Uh, since 2009, if Origins count. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. For a second, I thought you made Inquisition. Uh, but I had yeah, Inquisition and pre order ever since launch. Yeah. Honestly, I've played every Dragon Age except Origins. So, you know. Doesn't really count as every. It's really depressing, actually. Now, I heard Origins was actually pretty good, though. The only reason I never played it was, um... Eh, I guess you could say I just never felt like looking it up in the store. That's honestly my reason. I just never found the time to actually just search it up and then buy it. And then, you know, now that I play on Xbox One, until it becomes backwards compatible, can't really. So, yeah. Classy. <laughs> uh. You know what, just because you said it's classy, it sounds worth it. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, this looks like it'll be fun. Oh no, 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 not fun. Not fun at what are you doing? Why was it paralyzed, <laughs> crawl it cradled up in a ball? Oh god. Not again. It's like the poltergeist. Jesus, I hit all of them. Okay. Boom. I love how the viewers literally has been fluctuating. Like a few seconds ago it was at 12, now it's at 4. People can't make up their mind to stay in here. I do hate the lightning dragon though, because it has like the highest DPS. Uh, I mean, legend alongside Oblivion. Story, lore, and concept worth to play it at least once. Story wise, the strongest. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, if I see it on either a sale or if it becomes backwards compatible, I'll probably get it then. Because, I mean, it's kind of always been like a thing that I wanted to get. Because I try to get every uh, Xbox One 360 game as they're becoming backwards compatible and as Xbox One games are coming out. Um, not for collection reason, actually, but just, you know, I mean, it's kind of purposeful-ish, meaningful. I don't have a life. Anyway, um, but main thing is, though, I want to play the better games, and I did hear that was really good. I played Oblivion, so, I mean, if you're comparing it to Oblivion, then must be, like, at least good-ish. Um, honestly, like, the reason I play most games, though, is for the story, except for rare situations like Call of Duty. Call of Duty I play just to wreck people in multiplayer, but, yeah.
Oh jeez. I really need that one item that makes it so that these enemies can't knock me down. Aha, uh -huh, no you can't compare, but in its time Oblivion wrote a legend, so does Origin of the Dragon Age series. Yeah. Um, to be honest, um, Oblivion was probably my favorite game on 360, like, that I actually had the most time on. I think I had somewhat like a thousand hours, and even after I beat it, and when I say beat it, I 100%ed Oblivion. I did every quest. I closed all 101 Oblivion gates. And then I fully leveled the character because I was smart. I knew that if you leveled up character, enemies become actually impossible to kill nearly. But, um, yeah, no. I played that game completely. And then I got it on PC just so I could play with mods. But, uh, yeah. And, you know, if, if you've played Oblivion on PC, you could probably guess, like, what type of mods they were. Uh, the ability to murder those children. By the way, by children, I mean the adoring fan. And by murder, I mean to where he doesn't respawn. Because <laughs> I really, I don't know why, I had a really big hatred for him. And the fact that he respawned made things worse. Yeah, the glory of mods with oblivion. <laughs> I don't know. Like, that's the same thing though, uh, if you've played Fallout 3 on PC, I think the first mod I got was so that I could murder children, and the reason was just because I wanted to kill Princess inside of Little Lamplight. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that too, but that was just like, the most satisfying thing because of everything she calls you. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> so what type of mods did you use on Oblivion? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Our agents succeeded beyond expectations. Congratulations, I Arnold. hope that's... Uh, I know there were some mods on Oblivion that were bad. <laughs> like, really bad. Uh. I don't know. I don't ask people what mods they use on games normally, because normally it's really disturbing stuff. Like torture chambers. Okay. Well, that was something. Ooh! Finally got the hypothermia thing. Ooh, that's pretty. So pretty. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Okay, so I still need to do poison damage. Eh, poison damage isn't hard, I just never do it. And fire damage, I could do that pretty easily, actually. Okay. Well, that's all neat. Oh yeah, fifty forty two twenty two. Looking for my game. I'll just imagine. That's nice. <laughs> That's always something I want to know for what type of mods. <laughs> uh. This is, you, you know, you, you just reminded me why I don't ask people what type of mods they download. <laughs> On a totally random note, if you want to just kind of leave a link in the chat board, that would very much be appreciated. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, um, nah, actually, I'm probably about to move over to broadcasting Dark Souls. So, um, if you want to stay on this, uh, cool. Oh, he proudly showed it to me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not a good thing. It's really not a good thing. Uh, I don't know which part I didn't like more. <laughs> uh, okay. 
But anyway, nah, Vanguard, uh, if you want, you can follow the channel, and um, I'm going to head over to do some Dark Souls, uh, so if you want to stick around, you can. Uh, if not, I'll be very lonely, so just saying. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay. Good to see you're ahead of me. Wait a second. Your mods are usually cosmetic. Oh my gosh, you were using the same glowing erected things. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, uh... I think that'll be it for this broadcast. <laughs> oh god. Uh, after I salvage all of this. It's <laughs> literally what I'm gonna do real quick. Do do do. Okay, yeah. Anyway, um so Vanguard, if you wanna follow, uh I'll be over there and uh yeah. So have fun. <laughs>